hello students today we are going to find the square root of uh, these numbers uh, looking at it seems complicated because you have probably never thought of something like that but uh, yet we can find the square root of this kind of numbers well not all but uh, mm, the others also we can find but they become complex so we are not going to discuss finding the roots when the roots become complex we are only going to discuss when the roots are of this kind only so what is the first number that we have we have 8 plus 2 root 15 and uh, for that you need to know two basic algebraic formulas that is the formula for a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus twice a b and a square plus b square minus twice a b so since we have a plus sign here right we have a plus sign here so we are going to use the a plus b whole square formula and how do we do it so you have already studied how to break a rational number right uh, irrational number so it's like this like root 15 can be broken down into root 3 into root 5 and this 2 factor is very important when the 2 factor is there it becomes quite simple and you can understand that this will be our twice a b part right so for this kind of problem only there are complicated problems also we are not going to discuss that in this class so at this place we can write it as 8 plus 2 into root 3 into root 5 right and then you can see that root 3 if we square it and root 5 if we square it it shall become 3 and 5 and 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 right so what we do is instead of writing 8 we write root 3 whole square and we also write root 5 whole square right so root 3 whole square is equal to what that is equal to 3 root 5 whole square is equal to 5 and hence 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 right so it's quite simple and now the twice a b part twice into two, root 3 into root 5 so now you can see in this line it is already in the format of a square plus b square this is a square plus b square plus twice a b and hence we can reduce it as root 3 plus root 5 whole square alright so what result do we get we get 8 plus 2 root 15 as a square of this number so obviously the square root of this 8 plus 2 root 15 would be root 3 plus root 5 the square will go right the square will go off for the square root so we can write it as therefore the square root of 8 plus 2 root 15 is equal to root 3 plus root 5 now you have already studied about the plus minus thing in your class that whenever we take the square root we will put a plus and a minus in this case also you can put it the plus and a minus before the square root whatever you get right so plus minus root 3 plus root 5 that is your answer for this square root of 8 plus 2 root 15 in the same technique you can do for the next problem also okay so let us do it for the next one what do we have we have 15 minus 4 root 14 okay if you can see it on your mobile phone clearly yet I'm going to write it down we have 15 minus 4 root 14 now be careful here what do you have instead of 2 you have 4 but 4 is a multiple of 2 right 
so we can break it down into two parts and we shall do it in single line also we shall break 15 also in the same line so we are not uh, going to write 15 again here okay so first the twice a b part so we put the minus we give leave a gap and we write 2 because for twice a b you have a 2 coming out and if you take 2 out of 4 we are left with 2 so we have 2 root 14 so for 2 root 14 we can write 2 into root 7 into root 2 we are breaking down we are breaking we are factorizing it completely okay and you can see now in this part if you take 2 root 7 and then square it what is the value you are going to get if you take 2 root 7 and square it then you are going to get 4 into 7 4 into 7 is equal to how much 28 but we need and uh, root 2 square is how much 4 right so 28 and 4 will never make 15 so we need to choose those number from here so that we get 15 so how do we get 15 out of this if you take 2 root 2 this 2 is constant right we are taking this 2 and this root 2 so if you take 2 root 2 whole square that is equal to 8 and if you take root 7 whole square that is equal to 7 and 8 plus 7 makes up 15 hence we are going to take 2 root 7 or 2 root 2 as one of the number and root 7 as the other number all right so we can write 15 as we can write 15 as 2 root 2 whole square plus root 7 whole square and then oh I already erase this part so 2 root 2 into root 7 okay so it's in the format of a square plus b square minus twice a b and hence we can write 2 root 2 uh, not plus that would be minus root 7 whole square and therefore what is the square root of 15 see yeah here I am giving the square root symbol because I am not writing everything in words in this case 15 minus 4 root 14 is equal to 2 root 2 minus root 7 and uh, this is the positive square root so we also have a negative square root so plus minus so that's your answer for there now in the third case we don't have a factor 2 what do we do now we don't have a factor 2 we have 7 plus 3 root 5 we have 7 plus 3 root 5 so 7 plus 3 root 5 we don't have a factor 2 here in the radical part right this is the rational right and here this is the irrational part we don't have a not the radical part uh, for the irrational part we don't have a factor 2 what do we do it's quite simple just multiply 2 to both of them so 14 plus 6 root 5 now are they equal this two these two expression this first expression and the second expression are they equal no they are not equal so how do we make them equal we just put a half now they are equal half into four, half into 14 is 7 half into 6 is 3 so ultimately we get it as equal right now 
so we are introducing a half and multiplying by 2 that is simply multiplying by 2 by 2 and what is 2 by 2 that is equal to 1 so they cancel out each other so the next part is same this half we shall keep it same steady as it is and we shall continue with this part 14 plus 6 root 5 so I'll keep a gap and write break this 6 root 5 so I can write 2 into 3 into root 5 all right so what is 3 square it is quite easy to for this case 3 square is 9 and root 5 square is 5 so 9 plus 5 is equal to 14 so I can write here 3 square and root 5 square so we have a square plus b square plus twice a b and hence we can write half into 3 plus root 5 whole square and thus the square root of 7 plus therefore or thus the square root of 7 plus 3 root 5 is equal to 3 plus root 5 for the square since it is square here out here we have taken 3 plus root 5 but what do we have here we have a half so what is the square root of half what is the square root of half square root of 1 is 1 only and square root of 2 is root 2 so we just put it like that and for the plus minus you can just put it here no problem hence that's your square root so square finding the square root of these numbers was quite easy a few techniques and we could do it 